at the end of John chapter 4, we encounter a group of people that Jesus calls sign seekers. They live for the signs instead of living for the Savior. How do we know if we are sign seekers ourselves? Welcome to LifeWords Day by Day. We know we are merely sign seekers when we are too familiar to be stunned. This crowd of people were from Jesus' hometown, familiar with Jesus and his family. They knew him. They were so familiar with him that they were not stunned by his words in a repentant way. Rather, they just wanted to see some cool tricks, but mainly wanted Jesus not to intrude into their lives. This is what we call deism. Can you imagine if you lived during the time that Jesus was a toddler? You watched him grow up, you changed his diaper, you airplaned food into his mouth. Maybe you babysat for Mary and Joseph and you had to scrub the dirt off of his face. He was just another boy in the neighborhood. Polite? Yes. Did he get into trouble? Not that you can remember. He just kind of faded into the background. But you know he's a reliable fella, so if you need him, you call on him. Otherwise, he's just there hanging out, waiting on you to call on him only when you need him. When you have this view of God, then God is just there in the background, and the totality of His purpose in your life is to meet your needs, fulfill your dreams for life, your purpose. When things get bad in life, you'll call upon Him to fix it, and then you'll put Him back on the shelf. He's merely a tool to repair and fulfill whatever it is you want to do in life, but He's not a personal Lord. He's just a God-like person that will live, leave you alone until you call on Him when you get in a pinch. Deistic Christianity is no Christianity. God is to be our personal Savior that we walk with day by day. When you pray today, please remember Rigoberto Jimenez and his family are missionaries in El Salvador. And also remember the Haya Life Word broadcast that's heard in Tanzania.